Hello everyone. I am Professor Nikhil Verma. Uh, in the previous video, guys, we solved an illustration on capitalization of average profits, and we had also discussed that you know uh, in the next video that we are going to launch. In that video, we are going to discuss super profits. But I got a couple of requests from uh, students asking me to solve one more problem on this method as well. Uh, so I have taken another illustration on the same technique which is capitalization of average profits so we will solve this problem today and from the next video we are going to start super profits all right so let us just go through the problem um, again uh, ascertain the value of goodwill based on capitalization value of okere limited so the name of the company is okere limited we are supposed to find out the value of goodwill using capitalization of average profit method so they have given us the balance sheet here and they have given us notes to balance sheet all right see in the balance sheet we have note number 1 and 2 in the liability side which is share capital and reserves and surplus um, in share capital we have equity shares alone and uh, in note number 2 we have p and l account credit balance then uh, we have other liabilities which is outside liabilities given as bank overdraft sundry creditors and provision for income tax on asset side, uh, we have goodwill as intangible assets. Then they have given us two tangible assets, land and building, plant and machinery. Then we have current assets as stocks and book debts. Book debts is nothing but debtors. Then we have some additional information here. They have given us profits of five years. And they have told us that the income tax is charged at 40%, which is yet to be charged on the profits mentioned above and the normal rate of return is 12%. So let us start uh, solving the illustration. Uh, we are going to use both the approaches which is net assets approach and liabilities approach. The formula to calculate goodwill under net assets approach is capitalized value of business minus net tangible assets. So guys the step number one is calculation of capitalized value of business. The formula to calculate capitalized value of business is Future maintainable profits, which is nothing but average adjusted profit, into 100 divided by normal rate of return. Normal rate of return is given at 12%. We will have to find out future maintainable profits. I have already drawn the table here for your reference, which was discussed in the previous uh, problem as well, how to use this table. Uh, I had given you all one more method, which is easier one. But I prefer this because here you can inculcate any adjustment that is given in the problem. But for the other method, there are limitations. You can only use that method when you have such adjustments which are applicable to all the years. All right. So uh, let us find out the future maintainable profits by taking the profits of each year. This 3 lakh rupees for 2014. For 2015, it is 3 lakh 75,000. For 2016, it is 4 lakh 25,000. For 2017, it is 4 lakh 75,000. And for 2018, it is 4 lakh 25,000. Right now that we have the profits, let us calculate income tax. Income tax is payable at 40%. So let us find out the income tax on each of the year. I'll copy paste this formula. You will have to find out 40% of the profits of that respective year. So we get 1 lakh 20,000, 1 lakh 50,000, 1 lakh 70,000, 1 lakh 90,000, 1 lakh 70,000 as income tax. Now we will subtract income tax from the profits. Let us do that. Do that for all five years. And then find out the average, guys. Take all the uh, profits, adjusted profits of individual year and divide it by number of years. So sum of these five divided by five. Okay. So the, uh, the average that we get is 2,40,000. Using the above mentioned formula, uh, we will take the FMP, which is 2,40,000. We will multiply it by 100 and divide it by 12. So I'll do that again. See this formula here. G15 is this cell. So we take G15 is 2,40,000. So 2,40,000 into 100 divided by 12. Let us do that again. See here. 2,40,000 into 100 divided by 12. That is the step number one. Uh, if you look at the formula of goodwill, we have found out CVB. Now we will need to find out NTA. NTA is net tangible assets. That will become our step two. 
let us calculate that okay so we'll have to take all the tangible assets and subtract it with outside liabilities we will uh, see the question here uh, asset side we are going to take all the tangible assets in order to take the tangible assets we'll have to see note number three so we have land and buildings and plant and machinery let me write, write that down plant land and buildings and plant and machinery value of land and buildings is 5 lakh 50 thousand plant and machinery is 5 lakh okay uh, then intangible fixed assets we are not taking we will not take goodwill then we will take stocks stocks is valued at 7 lakh 50 thousand and lastly we will take book debts otherwise known as debtors we will take that as 4 lakh 80 thousand the total is 2 lakh 28 thousand total assets okay total tangible assets rather now we will do less outside liabilities here outside liabilities is what i had told you in the previous video anything apart from shareholders fund is outside liability so shareholder fund has these two aspects so we will leave the share capital and the resource and surplus everything else is outside liabilities in this case we have three which is bank overdraft and uh, we have sundry creditors and we have provision for taxation bank overdraft value is 2 lakh 40 thousand creditors is 4 lakh 2500 and uh, provision for taxation is 2 lakh 12500 the total of outside liabilities is 8 lakh 55000 now we will subtract the total tangible assets with the total of outside liabilities we get 14 lakhs 25000 guys okay so this becomes our net tangible assets now we will find out the value of goodwill formula is capitalized value of business minus net tangible assets we have calculated both so first let us take the capitalized value of business it is here it is 20 lakhs minus 14 lakhs 25000 so we get 5 lakh 75000 as the value of goodwill okay that is using uh, net assets approach now we will calculate using actual capital employed approach or liabilities approach the formula for calculating goodwill under this approach is normal capital employed minus actual cap capital employed nce minus ace the formula to calculate nce is fmp into 100 divided by nrr this formula is similar to this formula here so we are going to take the fmp from here itself we are not going to do it once again okay but you guys might have to do it again in uh, exams so let us take that 2 lakh 40 thousand into 100 divided by nrr which is 12 so i just substituted the value of fmp in this formula so we got 20 lakhs once again ace ace is shareholders fund minus goodwill ace is actual capital employed so let us find that out shareholders fund we have two um, working notes under shareholders fund one is share capital and other one is reserves and surplus so under share capital see here we have equity shares and are under reserves and surplus we have only profit and loss account credit balance so uh, we don't have um, sub points under those notes we can directly take the amounts from the balance sheet 12 lakh 50 thousand plus 3 lakh minus the value of goodwill goodwill is valued at 1 lakh 25 thousand look at the balance sheet see this with this we get the actual capital employed at 14 lakhs 25 thousand now we will find out value of goodwill the value of goodwill is nce minus ace so 20 lakhs minus 
14 lakhs 25000 we get 5 lakhs 75000 as our value of goodwill pretty easy problem guys uh, it is usually asked uh, one of the methods is asked for 5 marks if both of them are asked uh, they are rarely asked but if asked it will come for 15 marks all right thank you guys in the next video we will focus on super profits which is the most important aspect of this particular module which is valuation of goodwill thank you